Hi Big Tractor Power fans, in this video I'm going to take a look at the different types of big hay mowers that are on the market today. From 12 feet all the way up to 33 feet. They're known as hay binds, mocos, wind rowers, swathers, and self-propelled mowers. In the video we'll take a look at the different variety of machines, the type of mowing that they accomplish, we'll take a look at how many acres they can mow, and what their price tag is. So let's head out to the field so we can learn a little bit about these machines and hear and see them at work. The hay bind dates back to the 1960s. New Holland was one of the first manufacturers to offer a machine that not only mowed but conditioned hay all in one cutting pass. Prior to that, farms used sickle mowers and then a second pass was made with a conditioner. A hay bind helps cut the hay and then also condition it by breaking the stems and letting moisture escape so the hay can be dried down to a certain moisture level to be chopped for cattle feed or baled at a drier level to be put up in the barn for feed over the winter months. Hay bind is a common term that describes a sickle mower and conditioner. Although it is a trademark name used by New Holland, many other manufacturers over the years have offered this sickle style mower conditioner and it was popular through the 1970s, 80s and into the 1990s. This machine today runs about $20,000 and you can cover about four acres per hour. Disc mower conditioners replaced the popularity of sickle mower conditioners in the early 2000s, but they still have their place today out in the west for mowing tall grass and are also popular with horse owners for putting up low dust quality hay. Here we can see 13 foot wide John Deere 946 MOCOs mowing hay. These are disc mower conditioners. They use a disc rather than a sickle to mow the crop. These machines are being powered by 245 engine horsepower and 198 PTO horsepower John Deere 8245R tractors. The minimum PTO horsepower requirement for a 946 MOCO is 115 PTO horsepower. Disc mower conditioners began to gain popularity in the 1980s and by the end of the 1990s they had a significant part of the hay mowing market share. These machines are able to run at faster speeds over rough terrain and through wet mowing conditions while conditioning the hay and leaving it in a windrow to be harvested either as forage or to be baled. A 13 foot wide disc mower conditioner with a center pivot hitch like the John Deere 946 MOCO that we see here, can cover about 9 acres per hour. According to JohnDeere.com, the 946 MOCO has a list price of $45,000.
Here we can see a 250 horsepower New Holland 260 speed rower equipped with a 16 foot disc mower conditioner. This machine is capable of mowing down about 13 acres per hour with a disc mower conditioner and can also be equipped with a haybine sickle style mower and cover a few less acres per hour. This type of mower is often referred to as a swather or wind rower and traces its roots back to the late 1950s when it was originally used to windrow small grains. New Holland first introduced its speed rower line in the mid 1960s and several other manufacturers today offer this type of mower. The advantage of a swather is that it is able to run down the field very quickly and then spin around like a zero turn lawnmower at the end of the field and then make the next pass without missing a beat. Self-propelled wind rowers and swathers have remained popular with small grain producers for over 60 years for wind rowing their crops and hay producers have enjoyed using swathers for over 50 years to produce forage and dry hay. Here we can see a 32 foot wide Pottinger Novacat triple mower powered by a John Deere 7230R tractor rated at 230 engine horsepower and 189 PTO horsepower. Triple mowers began to gain popularity with dairy farmers and custom operators putting up large amounts of forage in the early 2000s. The advantage of this machine is that it allows a farmer to utilize an existing tractor that is used for other jobs on the farm throughout the year. It can mow a lot of hay in a hurry. Typically, a tractor and mower set up like this will run at about 8 miles per hour and cover 28 acres per hour. A pull type disc mower conditioner at 13 feet can run at about 7 miles per hour comfortably and a self-propelled wind rower can run at 9 miles per hour across the field. The triple mower splits the difference between the two but it accomplishes in one pass what the other two machines would cover in three passes. Several farm equipment manufacturers offer triple mower setups like this for tractors. Typically, they list for around $130,000, and they offer a big advantage in speed and ability out in the field for farms looking to put up a lot of silage for cows. Here we can see a Crone Big M 450 self-propelled mower conditioner. This big 449 horsepower machine can cut 33 feet of hay per pass. This self-propelled mower is an industrial size machine and in hay the name of the game is getting your crop cut and put up before the next rainstorm. A Crone Big M certainly allows 
farmers to do that. This machine can typically cover about 38 acres per hour and Crone offers an even larger mower, the Big M500, that will allow farms to cover almost 50 acres per hour. A big mower like this Crone Big M comes with a price tag of $335,000. That's a significant investment, but if you have a lot of acres that need to be mowed, this type of machine definitely fits the bill. I hope you've enjoyed hearing and seeing all these big hay mowers at work out in the field. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you've enjoyed the content of this video, consider giving it a thumbs up as it alerts other tractor fans on YouTube that the video is here to see. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.